symbol. The sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. Can this will all be mine? Everything. Everything will I touch. In my I ain't slept days. <laughs> Week 80 of the yeah. beer blog. Yeah, um, I know, right? Hey! Business time. So this week we have a uh, very interesting beer. Excuse me. We're talking about Halloween. So anyway, we have a very interesting beer by New Belgium Brewing Company. Uh, Michigan was probably one of the last states in the U.S. to get New Belgium beers for some reason. I don't know why. We're one of the bigger uh, beer states. Sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, oh no. Eric's Halloween costume. Uh, so we have this uh, beer from New Belgium. Uh, they're a Colorado company. Uh, their most famous beer is Fat Tire. They also have a, what was the one we tried last week? It was like an Oktoberfest? Or? Hoptober. Uh, Hoptober. Red Hoptober. Red Hoptober. And uh, it was a little bit more of like an IPA Oktoberfest. <laughs> So be loud. Uh, and it, that was pretty good too. I would definitely recommend trying that. And Fat Terry is a really good, uh, what is it, an amber, I believe? Yes. Yeah, that one's really good too. So uh, this one is called Peach Porch Lounger Lips of Faith. <laughs> um, Lips of Faith series. Sorry. <laughs> what? I don't know. Lick? Don't lick my wound. Uh, it says <laughs> it's an ale brewed with molasses and lemon peel and with peach juice added. And it has a really fun description. It's an afternoon on the stoop, foot stomps a loop, southern style poured in two glasses, time becomes molasses. Harmony with hominy, grits, peel the peaches, and throw out the pits. Get some action in the bottle with bread, uh, no my seas, which we looked up, it's like a Belgian yeast. Uh, G Love in a brew, porch peach lounger sings just for you. So they got even some like. Cool, poetry. rhyming poetry on their description. Poetry. <laughs> Beer poetry, oh my god. Yeah, style points. Uh, it's only eight ninety nine for one of these interesting beers, so not too expensive. <laughs> so let's give this baby a pour. Oh, yeah, thank you. Did you say ABV on there? Oh, I did not say It's a 9.4 ABV. So oh, my god. Yeah, this this is a big boy. Big cojones. That's what she said. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, point it this way. Sorry, leave it to Emily. You're welcome. <laughs> so I, I don't really know what the proper glass for these is, but I assume uh, something aromatic, being that it kind of has a Belgian yeast, it was probably a a better choice as opposed to a pint glass. <laughs> You're so fierce, Zoe. I can't even believe it right now. Yeah, we have gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what So we'll pass this around. <laughs> Beware of with it. Oh, oh it's so back. So Ooh, kind of. It smells a little yeasty to me. Yeah, it does. It's got that little bit of a fruity yeasty smell to it. Yeah. Is that from Zoe? Either you like a lemony yeast, maybe. A lemony yeasty? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what that is. Uh, I don't know. I, I get a, maybe just a hint of lemon, but... Oh, so... Yeah. How'd that feel? Zoe, come here. Uh, yeah, that's not peach. Oh, hi. What's that? <laughs> so that's not peach. No, it doesn't really smell peachy. Maybe the <laughs> taste will be peachy. It. I'm giving it a one. <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of a nice... Kind of a nice lager color. Nice and yellow. Um, I don't know, similar to like a, a summer no, shandy no. or something. It looks a little orangey on the screen. But... That's that. Uh, so let's let's give this baby a try. Let's do it. Let's do it, Nas. Oh, there we go. Ooh. That's a pleasant surprise. It's a little... Not what it's hot. It's not what it smelled like. No. Who needs one? The smell was a little deceptive. It's kind of like... It's not like you can remember. Just drink it. Like no, there's no I'll screen. do it again. Hmm. <laughs> 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 It's a little. It's a lemon. You get a little bit of like a lemon and peach yeah, and with like the, yeah, kind of citrusy and it's kind of mixed with like the Belgian yeast, but it just kind of feels like it's all mixed well, together. The flavors aren't really separate, which I guess kind of makes sense. They used the peach juice and lemon peels, so there's not going to really be any individual tastes. But yeah, the first time I've watched all the beer, some peach in there. Or the pizza. This, uh, I don't, 
get any molasses. First time I was no, I'm, pizza. I'm wondering if they just use some molasses to make it like a higher ABV beer. Yeah. Definitely not bitter. Thank you. I'm getting lemon. Yeah. Or that it has like a really Belgian feel to it, though. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I guess that they are new Belgian brewing, so that would kind of make sense. Uh, But it definitely does have a Belgian feel. You do get probably more of the lemony citrus and just kind of a hint of peach. I guess maybe they went light on the the peach juice additives. (laughs) You get it at the very end. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, the peach flavor does come at the the very Lucky. end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not. Man, the more you try, the that Belgian yeast really does yeah. take over. <laughs> it's just a it's a citrusy Belgian <laughs> yeast with maybe a hint of peach at the back end. I mean, it's real smooth for being nine point four percent. It doesn't really taste like nine point four percent. No, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> pretty smooth. Yeah. It's it, I would say it's well carbonated. I mean, most most Belgians are. Uh, I feel like for the most part. But that's that's about all I got to add. Any, anybody else want to add anything? Peanut gallery. I don't think so. No. I got right. nothing. Pretty. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple. simple. <laughs> um, let's give this thing a rating then. Uh, we'll start with you. Excuse me. Two five. Two five from Emily. Nate. Why? <laughs> why two five? Why? Cause yeah. it wasn't that average. I wouldn't drink it if I wanted an average beer. It like left a weird taste. Yeah, in my I mouth. agree. I agree. It wasn't pleasing, but it wasn't yeah. awful. Okay, Nate. Wow, so I went on death and shit. Five. Five. Nate, come on. How many have you done? I didn't come back to me. All right, <laughs> Hirsch. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's a, it's about average for me. Um, I don't know if I drink it every day, but I could, you know, drink it every once in a while. So I give it like a three one. Three one? Okay, a little better than average. Uh, Bert. Uh, I'm actually gonna go maybe a little bit above Emily in two seven five, but a little bit below average for you. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't too grand. All right. Um, really? Funny aftertaste. Yeah. I'm gonna go two. Two. Ooh, ouch. Rest. Ouch. Yeah. I uh, mean, better than a one, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Drew? I'm going to go with about three and a half. Three and a half? Uh, L- a little better than average? A lemony, but uh, if I got a little peach, maybe it'd be a little bit higher. Okay. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, Mitchell? a little more peach. Would... I'm going to go uh, four. A four? You oh! like this? Oh! You like this citrus. Uh, like this Nate, citrus. we're back to you. I would go right in between them, three seven five, because it's, it's for a Belgian, it's it's what you'd expect. Like yeah, Drew said, okay. a little bit more peach would be ideal in a peach porch lounger. Sure. Uh, but it's good. I guess considering the style, I mean, it, it, it is a decent Belgian in the grand scheme of the beer world. I would I'd give this right around three two five. It's certainly better than average. It's got some flavor to it, but I feel like the mixture of flavors just. Uh, isn't the best yeah. the lemon peel yeah. and the yeah. whatever yeast they use it just tastes a little funny um and I, I was hoping for a little bit more peach flavor I, I do think that would make it better uh for me personally and some other people but uh that's that so i guess we're done here <laughs> hi mom bye